Hi, welcome to our morning minute for today. I want to read to us from Philippians chapter two, and I want to read verse 14. The apostle says, do everything without complaining and disputing. Whenever I personally come across passages of God's word that talk about complaining or grumbling or negativity, I find them particularly convicting. Maybe you do too, because by nature, I go through life very often with a negative attitude and a complaining spirit in me quickly follows after that. And so whenever the Holy Spirit says in his word, don't be a complainer, it touches pretty close to home. I want to talk about first what the apostle is saying. And then second, I want to talk about what may be a biblical prescription that will enable us bit by bit to grumble less as we come face to face with life's really hard, admittedly hard circumstances. First, I want to describe what the apostle is saying, or better, what he's not saying. The apostle, neither here nor anywhere else, ever asks us to be dishonest about the circumstances that we live in and how we feel about them. He's not commanding that we be stoic in the face of trial, that we be silent when we are hurting, either to God or the people around us. It's okay to say, Lord, I'm not happy with this situation. It's hurting me, and I'd like to be delivered from it. Will you please deliver me, Lord? Or if someone should ask us, how are you doing? It's all right to say, you know, I'm not well. I'm feeling sick today or someone that I care about is hurting and it's hurting me, or I'm feeling discouraged. That's not complaining. That's just Christian honesty. And if we're a student of the Psalms at all, we see that so often the Psalms are crassly honest about how it is the psalmist is feeling regarding the hard circumstances that he's going through. He's forthright. He's direct. He's truthful. And so Paul is not asking us when we suffer to live in denial or to be silent about our hardship. What he is asking us to refrain from is grumbling about it. Grumbling doesn't just confess the hard times that we are going through. Grumbling complains about them. We may have thoughts like, God is out to get me, or everything bad always happens to me, or this that I'm going through, it's just pointless. And we embrace those thoughts and the negative attitudes and feelings that go with them. We come to exude a bitterness, a frustration with heaven itself. That is more in line with a grumbling spirit. It's, in one sense, being honest about how we're feeling, but it's viewing what we're going through in a very negative and, frankly, unbiblical way. The Apostle Paul had reminded the Philippians in chapter 1 that they were participants in the fellowship of the gospel and that God was working in them to do something wonderful. In fact, in this very chapter, Paul reminded them in our last lesson or two that God was working in them to will and to do his good pleasure, that they themselves were temples of the Lord, the holy place of the Lord in which God was working out his special plan. Whenever we go through difficult times, our mindset needs to keep these teachings of Paul in mind. What we're going through is not pointless fate. We're not enduring some negative intention on the part of our loving God toward us. He's not out to destroy us, and what we are going through is not useless. 
Everything that we experience comes from God's loving plan. And far from being without purpose, whatever it is that we are enduring will bring glory to God and eventually blessing to us. And those are the glasses, the spectacles, through which we are to view the difficult times of this life that won't ever prevent us from being able to say, Lord, what I'm going through does not make me happy. When Paul wrote this epistle, he was in prison, and he would have to be crazy to be happy to be in a filthy, oppressive Roman prison. But he could view that experience through the spectacles of God's loving purpose for him and God's wise purpose for his own glory. And that would have given Paul a new perspective and granted him the ability to endure what he was enduring without having a spirit of complaint. And that same perspective applies for you and I. Whether we grumble in the face of trial or can rejoice in the face of trial has to do with the pair of glasses that we are wearing. Are what we go, is what we are going through pointless or vindictive from the point of view of God? Well, that will give us grumbling glasses. But on the other hand, what we're going through, is it based on a loving providence? Is it truly for our good and for God's glory? That will give us a revolutionary ground upon which to stand that will go a long way in empowering us not to grumble when we find ourselves in situations that are hurtful. Let's pray for the wisdom of God in that regard. Heavenly Father, we pray that you would give us a new set of spectacles, and we admit that it's you who have to give them to us. Our nature is by its its character, Lord, negative and apt to complain and grumble. We need you to intervene, to change our heart and to change our perspective so that we can even view trial through the spectacles of your wise and loving purpose. Be with us in that way, we pray, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Tomorrow we will continue our travels through Philippians, Joy in Difficult Circumstances. Goodbye.